you have to be training. There's a reason why the military trains. It's because when it happens, they're ready to rock and roll and get the job done. Compared to, they don't sit around and go, yep, yeah, I'm mentally prepared for war. Are you training? Oh, no, no, I don't have to do that. I'm just ready. I know how good I am. Come on, wake up. Oh yeah, good old coffee. All right guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. So, there's some news up here for you. Real quick headline, uh, Fort Riley reminds community of upcoming Black Star exercise July 26. Now, we're gonna discuss this real quick, but we're not gonna harp on it too much because I want you guys to be preparing as far as blackouts, grid down. Now this exercise here, this is nothing new. This is something that I'm glad the military is training for because I believe it is a threat, whether it be a corona mass ejection, a malicious hack from another country, our own government decided to shut power off in certain locations, an EMP attack, whatever, the grid goes down. Now this here, guys, is what the military is training with here at Fort Riley as far as being able to function without the power and being able to get that power back up. So. With that, I'm not expecting anything to go crazy and we are, you know, they're preparing for an attack or anything like that. It's, it's a drill. It's a training exercise in which the military does because to, for the military to be effective, they need to be training in all kinds of different types of warfare and scenarios. As preppers, we're seeing this. We're seeing that the military is training for this. Are you? All right, guys, so today's sponsor for this video is Unlimited Veal. It is a wireless internet service provider, perfect for rural living, all right? We live off-grid with our system here, and this thing here is our internet provider. All right, we can watch movies, we can listen to music, we can do whatever everybody else does with the internet. We have no problem here. The only difference is, is that when Unlimited Veal says it's unlimited, guess what? It's unlimited. We don't have to worry about throttle speeds or anything like that. And we can watch in high definition too. We can also use this for gaming if we were a gamer. All right. You can get up to 4K service. So anyway, guys, definitely check it out if you're interested in the rule package. If you use survival as the promo code, you will get free shipping. And of course, we do get commissions off all sales. We're always open about that. And it's a way of helping us out here on the channel as well. All right, guys. So with this, guys, this is just a drill. I'm glad the military is doing the drills on preparedness for a grid down scenario. Uh, this is something we as preppers need to be taken serious. This is something we really push hard on our channel. We do uh, preparedness for EMPs, corona mass ejection, cyber hacks, whatever. As long as the grid is down, that's what we try to prepare for the most. It's one of the biggest things I think, in my opinion, we'll be facing as preppers. But there's so many different type of SHTF scenarios out there. Fortunately though, your grid down preparedness works for just about every other scenario that's out there. It really does. Hurricanes, we get this all the time. What I want to recommend everybody do, and I've discussed this so many times, is do brownout drills in your home and in your group. All right? A brownout drill, basically, is turning off all your power inside your home. Now, before you do that, if you are reliant on medical equipment, electricity to those equipments, and you don't have a backup system, a generator, um, a solar generator or solar power to run that equipment, make sure you have that in place before you do brownout drills, okay? There are some things you can do, all right? Let's say that you have to have electronic equipment. You can play around in your breaker box and find what rooms, lighting, and stuff like that you want to turn off as long as you leave that equipment running. If you have medical uh, medicine that needs to be refrigerated, uh, I don't recommend shutting off or unplugging the refrigerator because food's expensive. And if you're doing this for two to three days on training, you don't want your food going bad, okay? or your medicine. So I just recommend putting a piece of duct tape on the door, or if you're disciplined enough not to open up the door. If you need to get access to the medical equipment, 
the medicine, of course, don't put the duct tape on it because you need to stay alive during your training. What I would recommend during this entire exercise is that you're looking at what struggles you're running with. Okay, If the refrigerator goes out and you need medicine in there to stay cool, what's your option? Well, there's actually a lot of options out there. They have uh, these coolers that run off DC power and AC. You can just hook it up to a car battery or a solar grid. Works great. It actually drops the temperature down 40 degrees on the inside of the cooler uh, from the outside temperature. So that's an option right there. Or I got a solar generator back there. It's a 2000 watt one. That's gonna run a mini fridge for a very long time. Mini fridges are about $150, $160. Having something like that on standby for an emergency or even running right now in today's time that you store your medicine in, they don't take up much room. Something that a solar generator that doesn't use much power to run for days to keep your medicine cool, I would recommend it. The next thing I want you to look at during this exercise is your water, your water situation. How much water you got stocked up? Because when the power goes out, it doesn't matter if you have a well, unless you have a hand-drawn well. You know, you run a little bucket down in the ground. Um, if you don't have that, you're not getting water in your home. For those that like to scream and holler, you can get so much water out of your water heater. How new is your water heater? Because uh, I've actually done plenty of testing on this, and I've always had to live in older houses. Um, if your house is over five years, or I should say that water heater, go ahead and drain the water out of it and let me know how much rust is in that water. Do you have water filters? And by the way, there's not going to be a lot of water in that water heater, by the way, just so you know. It's not going to last you very, very long. Drinking out of the toilets, yeah, you have a couple gallons worth. That's it. How much water you have stored? Do you have water filtration? Because guess what? When the water, when the power is out, you have no water coming inside your home. That's one of the biggest things. Also, there's no air moving. No air conditioning, no central air. There's no heat. Nothing. Do you have a way of powering up even a floor fan? A floor fan runs about 60 watts of power. At least you get air moving inside your home. This is one of the reasons why we really push hard on building your own solar grid. And yeah, must be nice. Absolutely, I am going to make a coffee mug like that. I had to piece this thing together, piece by piece, wire by wire, a little bit at a time, to build the grid we have now. It just wasn't handed to me. Now, one of those inverters I did a review on. I got that inverter, but then I went and bought the other one. I bought the other one, all the electrical. The uh, EMP Shield, I'm affiliated with EMP Shield. That protects my grid. They send me products. I buy their products too. I buy the products for the vehicles. But sometimes I get some free stuff. I have to do videos and stuff like that to promote them. But we use them. You need to be looking at alternative power. If not a full grid like this, even solar generators, quiet, they can recharge. Gasoline generators, that is my first go-to having a gasoline generator, but your gas is only going to last so long. You know, when Hurricane Michael came through here in this area, everybody was running to Dothan, Alabama, driving all the way out there in Alabama to get gas for and diesel. He says, there's nothing around here. The problem was, everybody was going up there. I mean, everybody. So when he did get there, guess what? There's no fuel to be sold. So you have to go even further, burn even more gas in your vehicle just to get to a location to get gas. Having alternative power is very important. Now, people say, I live without power, yada, yada, yada. That's fine. You're not living down here in Florida during the summertime without power. I guarantee you that. It is brutal. There's a lot of elderly here. The heat will kill. Plain out and simple. Now, when it comes to boiling water, all right, cooking food, if you got electric gas, or if you have an electric stove, then there goes your power on that. You're not going to be cooking anything. I do recommend picking up a, a little camp stove. That's what we use. Uh, uses propane. They're about 40 bucks. 
put it away. Get you some one pound propane tanks, get an adapter for a 20 pounder. We have the one pounds, we have the 20 pounds, we have the 100 pound tanks. We have the adapters for them. They work great. I'm gonna warn you, do not use this indoors without ventilation. I built a whole range for mine. I have exhaust and everything for mine. It's removed, it's like using a gas stove. If you have gas in your house, yeah, you have a way of cooking, but do you have a way of moving <laughs> that carbon monoxide out of your home? You don't want to be using a gas stove if you have no power to get all the all the gases out. But we also have solar. We have the availability to run an air fryer, coffee pot. Um, we have an electric skillet. We can use that for cooking as well. All off of solar. Planning ahead. That's what preppers do keep working and have answers for the possibility of things happening next up lighting lighting keeps a lot of people at bay that wants to do harm to you but also lighting will also attract other people looking for help that's entirely up to you on that i like having lighting as i have the availability to throw a switch and flood light the entire yard i have the availability to run nighttime security as far as cameras during the daytime as well and also power up motion sensors on property so i know somebody is moving around grids down but i can still see them i got night vision equipment i have ir equipment that way i can do patrols things of that nature to make sure my property is safe during this time for those that want to say you need to spray paint your windows and hide i don't hide no I have a group here we built this group here to protect this area we will run normal operations we will run what well, actually when I say normal operations will be instilling our training that we do and that's our normal operations around here we're not going to sit there and hunker down in a closet and hope that the bad guys don't come if that's your option for survival that's okay whatever you do you do you i'll do me i don't want to sit there and you know i see the comments i would rather die than live in a world like that well those comments are coming from people like that i'm going to hide in a closet somewhere and hope that god nobody comes knock on my door there's a reason why i show i teach outdoor survival i'll just show putting myself through hell it's because i'm constantly working and trying to train my body in preparation and that's the biggest thing when you're doing this stuff guys you're you're a prepper you're preparing for the end of the world we're to go into war but you're not training all right but you just i mean screaming hauling this stuff but you're not doing any training you don't know what i'm capable of okay mill team six whatever all right keep on rocking it so when it comes to down here in florida air i can run my air, our air condition all right we built the battery banks up for it we can run floor fans floor fans is probably your best option if you're using a gasoline generator um or if you got a large enough gasoline generator you can run an air conditioning unit you might not be able to run a central air unit but it's possible too having a way of moving air inside your home fact is homes today are not designed to open up a window here and one in the other room you get a cross breeze through and helps cool down the house they're not made that way anymore now that it's made as cheaply as possible throw a family in charge them for the next 60 years and then by the time they get it paid off it's already falling apart and, you know <laughs> they're fire bundles is what they are anymore all right um, so having a way of moving air because like down here in florida for those commenters I live without power for blah 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 so have I but I'm down here in Florida and you're not you're not surviving the summer without some way of cooling off your house just not gonna happen so anyway guys keep on prepping work on brownout drills all right work on these things because when it happens are you prepared for it you can sit there and say how prepared you are but are you training in the brownout drill are you preparing actually doing the training turning off the switch and say okay we got three days we're doing this training well i'm not ready well tough shit it just happened yeah 
all right guys definitely appreciate you being here i encourage you to do stuff like this and actually train and get your body used to it for those that say i am mentally prepared for shtf if you're not training for shtf you are not mentally prepared for shit i know i'm harsh but i'm a realist you know why? Because I see it all the time. I see it when I do my outdoor survival stuff. When I'm taking groups out, they are mentally prepared until they have to physically do the stuff. And then they just fall apart. You have to be training. There's a reason why the military trains. It's because when it happens, they're ready to rock and roll and get the job done. Compared to, they don't sit around and go, yep, yeah, I'm mentally prepared for war. Are you training? Oh, no, no, I don't have to do that. I'm just ready. I know how good I am. Come on. Wake up. Got to wake up. Anyway, catch you guys later.